Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Brindley Mountain Fire Apparatus in Alabama. Hope things are good in Maine today. I'm about to shoot a walk around video for you of this 2003 E1 95 foot mid mount platform. I just did about 15 minutes uh, myself walking around the truck trying to notice any uh, cosmetic deficiencies that I could see so I could point them out to you on the video. Uh, overall, the truck's in really, really nice condition and I hope this video will help you uh, to get a sense of it. So here we go. I think you should be able to see my reflection um, in the paint. Uh, again, the paint's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. It's a it's a 2003, but really in the paint's in really nice condition. I uh, hope you can see maybe just some little dings and scratches there, a little scratch there. So it's got that kind of thing all over it, but the paint is not uh, faded. Um, not anywhere uh, that I saw that it's faded. Um, interior. We've done a quick wipe down of the truck, but haven't really kind of thoroughly cleaned it up yet. Still looks pretty nice. Some uh, tear in the upholstery. I think that was the only seat that may, maybe needed stuff done. Turn the battery on so you can see the gauges light up on the dash and see the mileage. Uh, just under 49,000 miles um, on the truck. There's one switch that looks like it's been kind of scratched out and then this transmission gauge uh, is labeled inoperable. So that's something that we might want to, uh, you might want to have fixed. Rear cap, the seats are good. A little bit of cleanup still to do on it. Uh, we'd clean it up more than this before we send it to you. They actually left the headsets in. Uh, doesn't happen all the time. We're thankful when it does. That headset might need a little bit of help, but we can certainly take care of that. Uh, the tires seem to be good. Uh, they're definitely going to pass DOT. Uh, the rear tires are uh, street tires. This was a, a city department, so not super aggressive tread, but they're definitely going to be within um, DOT specs show you the aerial aerial controls uh, it's aluminum aerial so that always shows really nicely even if it's 17 years old there's just not any paint knocked off no rusty spots. Sorry about the geese. I don't know what's happening. We're in Alabama, so you can't control the animals. It's just what we have to deal with. <laughs> uh, kind of normal stuff. You can see it more from the bottom. I'll show you the scene lights, the paints coming off the bottom of uh, the scene lights. Um, obviously the truck came out of Kansas so you've got some blue emergency lights uh, we can change those out if that's what we need to do for you guys uh, maybe a little bit more cleanup for us to do on the ladder you can see it's just if uh, we could probably clean it up a little more but uh, I'm certain that the ladder was well maintained. I know the department that this came out of. We buy quite a few trucks from them each year. They're a busy career department. They take real good care of their of their trucks because they run calls, pump pan, panel. Uh, some of the gauges you may can see has some uh, broken, actually all of the gauges, the glass has got kind of broken scratches on it we can fix that uh, just you know various screws missing 
Uh, apparently the truck had a little bit of rust on it. Somebody gave the go ahead and we've already um, undercoated it. So uh, the undercarriage of the thing is just beautiful. It's about a, I think a $8,500 process that we pay for. We've been using it for uh, 15 years or so. And just when we're done with it, everything is black. It's finished in POR 15. Uh, it's very, very solid. Um, really protects the truck when it goes back into a environment when there's where there's salt. Ladder tunnel, and I think pipe poles down there. There's the basket. You can see on that seam light, maybe you can see the paint knocked off of it. That's sort of the normal wear and tear we'd see. Uh, looks like they got into something right here. Um, if you can see that, that little drip rail is bent. Might be into the edge of that um, cabinet door. It doesn't seem to affect the door opening and closing. We could check and see if it's, uh, if it's letting water in or, or whatever. I uh, did notice a little bit of electrolysis over here. Right there, I don't know if you can see that. And I thought there was another place or two of it. Uh, yep, a little bit more right there. Not a lot for a 17 year old truck. Uh, just a couple of little, uh, and then maybe right here. Just a least little bit, if you can see it there. Open up some of the compartments, just so you can see. The compartments look about like you'd expect. There's some wear and tear on them. Uh, it's a 50,000 mile truck, so doesn't look like brand new, but also not overly worn. Officer side pump panel. And I think that's about it for the cosmetic part of the truck. Just a pretty nice rig, 50,000 miles, a lot of life left in it. Hope that uh, video will help you a little bit in making decisions about the truck. Thanks very much for the opportunity to try to help you with it.